Hey, I just want to remind you guys, In Your Corner, a movie I directed on Floyd Mayweather and Sam Watson, is out now on vimo.com. In Your Corner, click the link in the description box. Uh, and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys' support. And uh, don't, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. Peace. So let's talk about Stephen A. Smith and Michael Vick. I apologize for the late response, but I, I'll do a video on why I've been dark. I've been dealing with some a lot of business stuff. And um, <laughs> Stephen A. Smith and Michael Vick just need to go buy that Sammy Sosa cream and just give up their black, their melanin. Because for one, I just can't believe Michael Vick because he did over, just over two years for dog fighting. And the guy from the swimmer or volleyball player from Stanford doesn't get jail time because it's, it's deemed too harsh of a crime? Or am I mixing the guy up from Oklahoma? But uh, the guy that got rape charges from Stanford didn't go to... So I don't... And Stephen A. Smith, for him to say Conor McGregor isn't racist, <laughs> it's just beyond me. You know, uh, Stephen A. Smith... Um, has a beautiful black wife. Uh, when you see him in person, I, I, I interviewed him twice, once for 45 minutes, once for two minutes. That's my um, my experiences, person to person with Stephen A. Smith. And uh, very straightforward to the point, and I'm just shocked and bewildered. Him coming from a HBCU, I think he went to A&T, North Carolina, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it, it's just despicable on that platform, you know, and I'll do a more in-depth video probably later, but I want to touch on the subject because it's, it's been harping on me and I just haven't had a space, you know, just to sit down and do this video, you know, and, um, but I, on the day when OJ is potentially going to get paroled, it, it, it's, it's ironic that we're still dealing with this with our elite, quote-unquote, end quote, elite black men in America. Um, there's one thing I'll never, ever do is throw a black man under the bus um, under circumstances like this. I mean, if it's fact, if it's fact-based, you know, I have no choice, but I'm just talking about circumstantial evidence and, you know, I, I'll never, ever condemn a black man for circumstantial evidence, you know what I mean? So, um, uh, but let me know what you guys think, man. I, I just think Stephen A. Smith not calling Conor McGregor a racist. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Now, I'm not going to do this because I'll be a mixed company. I'll be around a lot of white people. But I will consider calling Stephen A. Smith a dancing monkey as I introduce myself to him to see how he responds with my camera hot. Maybe, you know. Um, or, you know. I'm not going to do that, man. I, I can't do that because I can't have the conversation with if I call him a dancing monkey, you know, or him calling a cholo gangster, right? He called Nate Diaz a cholo gangster, and I could never say that. I may say it in my head sometimes, you know what I mean? We say a lot of shit in our head, but I won't be overtly disrespectful. So I believe Conor McGregor to be a racist. I'm going to get that conversation with Conor McGregor. I'm going to ask Conor McGregor that question at that at at some point, media day. Some point, I will be able to ask him that that question. Um, so we have to sit back and see. So anyways, man, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I'll do a more in-depth probably later today or sometime this week. But I, I it, it's just deplorable that... Um, We still continue to, we still have people switching sides for their convenience. Colin Kaepernick needs to shave his head, shave his hair. Get the fuck, Colin Kaepernick, do you? I've been, and you know, I would have a Colin Kaepernick jersey, but it just supports the, uh, the system that's not giving Colin Kaepernick a job this year. So, um, you know. 
I would say Colin Kaepernick is probably anywhere between the 13th and 16th best quarterback in the NFL. You know, he had 16 touchdowns, four interceptions. That's a four to one ratio. You know, I'm a point guard, so if I have a four to one ratio and turnover to assist ratio, I'm gonna keep my job. I'm just saying. No matter how talented the other guy is before me, if I know, if my coach know I can protect that ball, he gonna keep me in the, in the lineup. So, anyways, man, barbershop conversation, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you guys very soon. <laughs> I appreciate. It. I miss y'all too, man. For real. I'm like, man, I ain't been pumping out no videos like I normally have, man, but. My next video, I'll explain why. But um, I'm going to leave you guys this. Believe in yourself and bet on yourself. All right. I'll holla. Peace.